Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you may know, I am just back from a city break to Rome. You may not know because I've actually been uploading my travel vlogs on my other channel, which only I think a few of you are subscribed to. So if you would like to subscribe to that channel and you'd like to have a look at what we did when we were in Rome, I will link that channel down below along with the playlist of all four to five of my vlogs from Rome. But I digress. While there, I made a sneaky purchase from Louis Vuitton. Now, I have never purchased anything from Louis Vuitton before. This is my first ever LV product. This was heavily inspired by two other YouTubers. One, Emily Clark, which is my girl over in Canada. And the second is Jerusha Couture TV. She is in Australia. Both avid Louis Vuitton fans and girls. If you do not want to be enabled to buy Louis Vuitton or designer clobber, then you do not need to look at their videos. They literally sold me. I was like, yeah, I want a Louis Vuitton now. So I finally made a purchase of a Louis Vuitton. I even remember commenting on, I think, both one of, one of Emily's videos and one of Jerusha's videos that I was like, I'll never be able to afford a Louis Vuitton. And while I still can't really afford it, I saved up for like months and months and months for this. This is not an off the cuff thing. I did some research, I did my homework, I googled, I watched YouTube videos, I looked up reviews, I measured sizes, I felt both bags, both in Brown Thomas here in Dublin and in Rome. I'd say they probably thought I was crazy, but I made my purchase. And this is the first time I'm going to show it on camera and my first time seeing it myself in person because when the sales assistant gave it to me I literally took it back to the hotel put it into my bag and I was like that's it I'm not going to look at it until I'm on camera so I'm so excited so it came in this lovely big Louis Vuitton paper bag yes I took that home with me as well because if I ever do decide to resell this the bag would be nice to have this came in the bag as well this is my proof of purchase in the lovely fancy Louis Vuitton envelope and I know a lot of people don't like talking money or whatever, but I have no problem in saying the price of this was 970 euros. Steep, I know, but this is a gift to myself, from myself, for no particular reason. But if we need a reason, I will say it's because I hit 5k subscribers recently. So, inside the bag is this very, very luxe Louis Vuitton box with the gift tag if you would like to use it. It's such a good quality box. I know that's such a crazy thing to say. It's just so sturdy and thick. And if you're buying this as a gift for somebody, in there is where you would probably pop your little gift tag or whatnot. Actually, let's see what's in there. Oh, cute little touch. It is like a little Louis Vuitton kind of post-it. So that's really, really cute. I will also be keeping that. I'm just going to take off the, I think they're leather ribbon I'm actually kind of nervous I was even lying in bed last night going oh my god what if I open this on camera and she's forgotten to put something in and I get really upset on camera so that's what I was having a nightmare about let's open this baby up shall we oh it's so pretty even down to the Louis Vuitton sticker Ta-da! This is a really emotional moment for me. So I have my shoulder strap. And I have my bag. Oh my god, I love it so much. Okay, let's assemble this beaut. This is the Speedy 30 Bandolier in the color Damier Ben, which is the dark design. Let's assemble this so we can actually see what it looks like. Oh my God, it's so luxurious. <laughs> I'm like a giddy school child. Okay, so this is what the bag looks like. I obviously haven't assembled it too well there because it's still kind of creased. I love this and my favorite bit is actually the gorgeous luxe interior. Look at that gorgeous red color. Oh my god. I also got a lovely dust bag to keep it in and I'm assuming this is the lock and key. Oh my god how amazing. 
This is the Louis Vuitton lock and set of keys that came with as well in its own little dust bag. Oh my God, I am loving this. So let's take a closer look at the bag. So I was actually pretty torn between the Speedy 25 and the Speedy 30. I knew I wanted the Bandolier uh, because obviously it's more versatile, even though it's quite a bit more expensive. I knew I wanted that for like the two in one feature because it can be like a shoulder bag and it can be a top handle bag. But I was really unsure as to the size I wanted, but I also knew I wanted the Demiere Eben because although I quite like the monogram, it's a little bit flashy for me. And I also find that the monogram is more copied than this one. While this is also copied, it's always badly copied from what I've seen. So I'm just going to assemble this, bye bye. <laughs> so there it is with the shoulder strap popped on. I went with the 30 because I know Jerusha got the Speedy 25 in monogram and it looks gorgeous on her, but I feel like I want this to be a really multifunctional bag. I want this to be suitable for every day, for travel, for bundling, shed loads of crap around with me. And I think it was the perfect size. They also recommend the 25 for more petite ladies, maybe five foot two and under. While Jerusha is like a taller lady, it still suits her really, really well. My girl Emily has the Demier Azure in this, which is the white. The, the lighter colour and it suits her frame perfectly. It looks beautiful on her. So I said, I'll go with the 30. This is coated canvas and the handles and strap are leather. This is a brass, I believe. I'm not the best educated when it comes to the Louis. And another difference between the regular Speedies and the Bandoliers is it has this like reinforced leather strap down the side. Inside we have the standard flap where you can keep, I don't know, whatever you want in it. And I'm just gonna have a quick go at the, the date code on mine is MB0145. So I'm going to be doing my research later on that to see what that exactly means. I believe this one was made in France. They're either made in France, Spain, or the USA. I think the USA ones remain in the USA. So if you're buying in Europe, it's going to be either made in Spain or France. So I am so excited about this. It looks kind of huge there on camera. But if I hold it up next to my head, it's not actually crazily ginormous, but I absolutely love it. I'm literally just so proud of myself. I've worked, I work really, really hard and I've been saving for the last like 10, 11 months for this. Every time I have a few euros spare, I was shoving it into a spare bank account and eventually I came up with enough goods to be able to buy myself something nice. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't really go out much. So this is kind of my equivalent to that and I absolutely love it. I also feel like this color would kind of go with everything. It can go with the light outfits, it can go with all black outfits. Um, it can be worn casually, it can be worn dressed up. I love it. So I don't know if I'm going to get loads of hate in this video. I really hope not. I hope you understand. I'm not bragging and I'm not like trying to splash cash needlessly. I'm usually quite wise with my money, but this was just something I really, really wanted for myself. And you're not here for a long time. You're here for a good time. And as long as you're not stupid with your money, I think you can justify buying yourself something nice every so often. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you did not like it, hate the idea of designer items, I don't know why you watched it in the first place. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. I'm off to play with my bag now. Bye-bye. <laughs>